G'day guys and welcome back to Samoan Journey episode number four of the series on Football Manager 2016. It's our birdie. G'day, how you guys going? And today we are beginning the World Cup qualifiers for Russia with games against New Zealand and New Caledonia in my group. Um, very tough group. Um, and it's going to be extremely difficult, I believe, to finish in this top spot um, if we want to have a chance of making this World Cup this time around. Because, um, yeah, we'll get into it in a moment. Um, because, yeah, this save has really been... <laughs> it's been testing my patience a bit. Um, I guess, you know, managing a, a nation like Samoa... Uh, you, you expect it, but, uh, yeah, there's been, <laughs> it's just been testing my patience, uh, it's been frustrating, um, so yeah, we'll just, we'll get into the, the fixtures here of what we've been doing, as well as some regions, um, in fact, we'll get into the regions and squad and players right now, um, <clears throat> because what I've actually really happy about is, We've been actually been able to convert, you know, a lot of Kiwis, a lot of Australians, two, well, one Aussie anyway. Um, well, I guess two Aussies were jaying them. But uh, we've been able to convert uh, numerous Kiwis here to represent us. You know, a lot of these are regions, but um, some of them are just not good enough at all. But uh, this guy, I'm actually really trying to target, but he doesn't really want to come here and represent us, which has been just kind of frustrating. But um, yeah, so that's the one silver lining I'm really looking at this. Uh, we've been able to convert a lot of Kiwis to play with Samoa, um, and that's really been helpful. Um, this guy was one of them, Tony Lalupata. La Palopa, if I can pronounce that right. Uh, he, yeah, he was a Kiwi. I mean, he's 17. You know, look at that. He's he's going to be good for us down the line. Maybe not this World Cup campaign, but the next one afterwards. Um, I can't really think of anyone else at the moment. <clears throat> but we were able to convert and also an Australian, Dane Ingham. I don't know if that's maybe related to Jay Ingham or not, but it's Dane Ingham. Uh, plays at Brisbane Raw. He's actually not a region, but he's actually an actual player. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I would say that's probably Jay Ingham's brother. You know, he's not the small, biggest guy, though, five foot four, But he's been playing in a couple of games for us. And, I mean, this is really good. Uh, you know, he's only 17, right? So he's going to get, or 18, he's going to get better. Um, and pr probably come the next World Cup uh, round of qualifiers, he'll... He'll be top draw. Um, and yeah, would you look at that? It is Jayingham's brother. So we were able to get... Um, we were able to get... Sorry, that was just my phone. Uh, we were able to, to bring in a couple of Australians to help us out and a couple of other eligible um, Samoans to help us out. Because, uh, yeah, we really do need the help, <laughs> the most help we can get. Um... Yeah, as you can see, the two Timmy Kale, uh, he left uh, Hangzhou Greentown and went to Western Sydney, and it's kind of ironic that he goes to Western Sydney because, um, you know, that was another one of my other YouTube saves I was thinking about. What if Timmy Kale went to the A League? And Western Sydney's my favourite. You know, you know, being from Sydney, uh, Western Sydney's the team I follow in the A League, and um. You know, they're my, my team, like cheer for, and, uh, yeah, so, yeah, it would be just kind of interesting to see what would have been like if Timmy came to the A-League, because, you know, he's been getting, um, you know, heck from, you know, Australia fans, which, you know, I don't necessarily agree with, you know, Timmy should be able to do whatever the heck he wants, to be honest with you, but he's been getting heck that he hasn't come to the A-League in real life, which, yeah, I mean, I honestly don't mind it, as long as he's playing game in, game out, he'll be ready for us. But, yeah, so, you know, he's been playing with Western Sydney, 
Uh, he's doing well for them. Um, but as for the national team, not the quite, not what I was expecting from Timmy Kyle, to be honest. Um, you know, just looking from my last episode in Nations Cup, it was pretty disappointing performances. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I honestly think Timmy should be a little a lot better than what he should be doing. Um, you know, one thing that's always been about Kyle is, you know, he always kind of, he's he's not a player that can, well, I guess, you know, he, can't, he you know, he's a guy that needs to, uh, how can I say it, um, you know, he's, he's a type of player that kind of relies on other players to make him top, you know, for his heading wise anyway. For his heading ability, obviously, you need other players to, to be quality in putting in those balls. And, uh, you know, just with Samoa, it's just not there, right? So, um, <clears throat> you know, it's just, it's kind of, that's the one thing I didn't really expect. Yeah, I just kind of expected, okay, you put in a bossing player on a pretty weak or weak national team, obviously he'll do right. But that was the one thing I totally, for, you know, didn't really um, think about, obviously, is you need the role players as well to help him out. And it's just not getting the services. Um, but yeah, it's been quite, you know, I'll, I'll say it's been below under par, the disappointment right now with, obviously, this whole save, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, we're just, you know, I'm not giving up. You know, this is the one thing with footy manager, it, you know, once you, when you're down, you don't give up. Obviously, that's with my mentality anyway. But this is the squad that we're going in with the World Cup qualifying. Uh, Jay Ingham is back in it. Um, <clears throat> we've put in a couple of some other players, given them opportunities. Um, let's see if I could find another Kiwi that we brought in here. Um, uh, I knew there was another Kiwi in here, but I must not have brought him up. Anyhow, this is the squad. Um, you know, given a few of these guys, uh, you know, new caps. Uh, this guy here, Leon Umatoa, target man. You probably think, okay, that's crap. Uh, stats, which it is, but look at this. He's six foot seven striker. <laughs> A six foot seven striker. You know, with the obviously the heading. You know, seventeen. You know, but he's going to be a tall guy anyway. So I'm just, I just kind of picked him in the squad to give me a new approach going forward. Obviously, Daining him. I'm kind of relying more on Daining him now to be our number one striker, uh, and Mobley as well. He's doing really well. He's actually playing in, in New Zealand, so it's pretty good for Andrew Mobley. <clears throat> but that's the squad. Um, we'll go now into the, the fixtures that we've played, and bear in mind, guys, this is Samoa. But yeah, our friendlies since the World Cup, or the Nations Cup, has been absolutely horrendous. Uh, specifically... The home game against Malaysia was absolutely horrendous. Um, and this is where it's been really been testing my patience, guys, to say. Because yeah, I've been trying new tactics, trying new approaches, and things just don't seem to work. We started with a loss against Swaziland. Very disappointing game, you know, especially after our Nations Cup. You know, it's kind of on a high, you know, since we uh, qualified, you know, we got to the final stage of World Cup qualifying, but. Uh, to lose to Swaziland, just, uh, it's not good. Um, and, I mean, these are all players that are grayed out, in my opinion. I think they are. And we still go on to lose a game. It's, yeah, it just uh, was extremely disappointing. And, and also our performance wasn't good enough as well. Um, and then we go over to Belize. We get a 2 all draw. That's where Dane Ingham got his first cap, two goals in it. So that one was a really good performance. Um, and then the losses against Pakistan and Malaysia. Uh, and the Pakistan game, we were down actually 3 0, and then we got two goals in the injury time. So realistically, 3 2 was a bit of a 
<laughs> a happy result, but uh, yeah, really bad. And then against Malaysia, this was a, a horrible, horrible performance, especially at home. Um, I expected a lot better in this, in again, we no showed. And I'm starting to get to the point where these guys, none of these attributes in tens are still way better than players of mine. You know, it's it's just, yeah, it just gets a toll on you. And the patience was just, are you kidding me? I just wanted to get, you know, when they got the first goal in the 12 minutes, I'm like, are you serious? Really? And we just kind of went downhill from there. <clears throat> so the, the patience is really getting to me now. It's uh, really frustrating. Um, we're also going to be losing some key players. Uh, Leono Taylor. You know, he may not look good to you, but he's one of our bigger guys. Um, he's going to be retiring from, from professional football. So does that mean he still be available for the national team? I don't know. I don't know. So that's that's going to be a big loss for us, um, Leona Taylor. Um, but yeah, so those have been the friendlies. <laughs> We only got one win all of last year against Papua New Guinea. I guess I could say, though, guys, one of the silver linings about this is all these opponents are outside of Oceania. And, you know, when I at the beginning of the save, I did say what my goal was is to get to a World Cup. And for us to get to a World Cup, we're going to have to play one outside of Oceania nation, whereas all the rest are in Oceania. And... Um, you know, even the Tahiti match, to be honest with you, I thought we actually played pretty decently. Um, and then against Papua New Guinea and New Caledonia, we, we played really good football. So, um, I guess what I'm saying is the silver lining is majority of these opponents, key games anyway, are going to be against Oceania opposition. So, that's where we can get better. But it's just kind of funny because, you know, we had three, um, out of... Oceania Confederation games here undefeated and then here winless <laughs> so uh, just kind of funny that way um, yeah we schedule another one against Myanmar but today we're going to be playing these two games against New Zealand and New Caledonia and one thing I'm kind of frustrated with too is because I thought this would be a home and away so obviously the home matches would be massive you know, just a massive um, jump for this particular competition. Um, you know, for this type of competition. But, again, it's neutral. So, I'm not sure where these are going to be played. <laughs> but, yeah, we're going up against New Zealand. Um, obviously, I would have liked to be in this other group. But, uh no, we got distributed in the hardest group possible. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> so, we're going up against New Zealand today. Um, now, being Australian, New Zealand is, you know, I, you know, I'll still say the rivalry is there between us and New Zealand. Maybe not in football, but, you know, obviously rugby and other sporting sports, there's always a rivalry there. Um... Oh, yeah, New Zealand, of course, the big dogs in Oceania. Um, but to be fair, New Zealand has dropped a bit since, you know, the 2010 World Cup. They uh, really, really have dropped since the 2010 World Cup. Uh, you know, obviously losing a couple of key guys like Ryan Nelson. You know, he's a fantastic footballer, actually. But, <clears throat> you know, that's all you can really do from that. So, I mean... I'm not, I mean, I'm always going to go into a game and think we have a chance to win. That's all I'm saying. So, we're going to start with this. As you can see, this is a highly defensive um, formation. Um, if I want to have a chance to get out of this group, obviously a draw and a win would be massive in our first two fixtures here. But, <laughs> it's looking pretty glim. I'm just saying it this way. Uh, we're going to put Jangham there. Um, 
Leona Taylor. Okay. So this guy, Ricky Hamilton Pama, you can see he's a Kiwi, so yeah, I brought him in. Eight bravery in the ten marking is what I'm really looking at. Obviously he's a slow player, twenty two years of age. Um so yeah, those those are there, but this is the formation we're going with. Playing against the three five two. I feel this can maybe counteract that a bit. Um now that's one thing with this new Kiwi manager. Um, Mark Hudson or Michael Hudson, one, one, whatever his name is. Anthony Hudson, there you go. Likes to play three five two. So we're going up against guys that are all <clears throat> all pretty much European based. Barbarusis, Wood, Tim Payne, Lewis Fenton. Obviously they're missing their big man though, Winston Reed. Ryan Thomas is actually a really good player as well. He plays at uh, Zool in in the Netherlands. Wonder if he's actually still there. There he is. Yeah, he's a good player. They're also missing Rojas though as well. He's other. He's one of their other. <clears throat> their other good players. Gee, who's this guy? He's playing in Greece. Yeah, actually, I watched uh, a bit of some Oceania. Nations Cup real life last night. Uh, New Zealand and Fiji playing. But yeah, I think I think this should counter it. You know, you got the five, you got the three. These two could obviously come back. So it's kind of like another attacking defensive type formation for New Zealand. Um, you know, I got Timmy in the box to box. But obviously, uh, <laughs> going to be a difficult game. Declan Wynn and Lewis Fenton, of course, is really going to have a lot of the ball. So we'll close them down, actually. Tim Payne. We'll turn the sound off. And one thing, too, guys. I'll leave it at 2D Classic. I absolutely hate 2D. But because I'm kind of more... Uh, Caring about the viewers than myself, um, I've I've looked back at those videos when it's 3D, and I guess it's just my internet connection. It's absolutely horrendous for lag-wise. And if you guys are all watching that and thinking, "Oh God, I can't even watch this," then I understand. So um, I absolutely hate 2D, but for this series, I'll have to put it on 2D because it's not lagging. So, so I'm just gonna say, no one's predicting us to get a result. Obviously, if we can get a goal here, it would be huge. But here we go. Facing New Zealand here. <clears throat> and uh, it would be a massive, massive game if we can get a result out of this. First World Cup qualifying. So here's Wood, Lewis Fenton, here's James, Chris James, Barbarousas plays at Melbourne Victory. So already you can see the possession wise in New Zealand is really, is already there. Actually, I'll see if, what is this, 2D Classic, what's 2D? Okay, actually that one's better, I'll go with this one. Except we can't really see much of the players easier. It's kind of got that. Here comes Lewis Fenton. There's the cross. No one was there. Wynn puts one in and a great stop by Noel. Okay, actually it's harder to see which uh, which one's who. Where's the blue? So that was a good stop there by Noel. You can see Solomon Islands already at 1 0 on Fiji there. So we'll just go encourage. Um, let's stay on Fiji. Obviously, we want to have the ball. We're giving them a lot of space. 
But yeah, Fenton's the guy that you gotta close down. There's a good read. Yeah, there's a read and it's off the crossbar. <clears throat> Come on, we have a chance here. Here's Telefy. Here's Andy Young. Out wide is Jay Ingham. Come on, boys. Crosses it in. And that wasn't a really good cross. Here's Joan A. Hall. Plays at far side. Ingham and a good stop there. And that's that's good movement. Glenn Moss with a good stop. Um, you know, we're actually doing pretty decent here to start this game. Um, Timmy with the box to box. Uh, can't do his. You know, I'll go tackle harder on Timmy as well. But. Right now, first 24 minutes of this game, I have to say it's been a pretty decent performance. Here's Tim Payne. There's a shot, oh, and there's the goal. So there's the first goal, and it's Tim Payne. <clears throat> and I let well, yeah. Let's see this. That was just inside the box. And yeah, on your side, I know I got a piece of it, but so that's <laughs> could that possibly be game over already? I don't know. We'll uh, open up a bit more. Here's Barbarusis, Dan Keat. Barbarusis in again. That looked like more of a, a goal kick than a corner. Oh, get it out, guys. There you go. <clears throat> See, concentrate. Because I have to say, right now, this tactic's actually doing okay. Considering. You know, they're having obviously a lot of the ball, but. Come on, there's a chance here. Oh, you guys had number 10. Ingham's had to have been down there to get that. Here's Fenton in the middle. Oh, <laughs> and it's a penalty. Are you serious? <clears throat> and that's the other thing. You know, penalties like that. It's, oh, saved! Oh, and no! What a stop that was. Chris James. Oh, what a great save. That is a massive. But that's what I was about to say. You know, that's the other thing that's been killing us. These penalties that they've been getting. We've been get, having against us. But wow, that's a great stop. That is a good save. Go whip crosses. <clears throat> Being down 1 0 at halftime would be huge. Get it out, guys. There you go. Come on, young. No. We're getting beaten the ball pretty much every time, too. I just want a spell of, of a highlight here. That's another good start. Bob Bruce is blocked. Dan Keat, get it out, boys. There you go. Come on, Ingham. No. Nah. <clears throat> so something's not going on here. Um, um, how should we do this? Well, that's the thing. Yeah, I need Timmy to, to be in the game as much as possible if we want to have a chance of winning this. And now he's got himself a yellow card. <clears throat> so, 
We're down one nil at half, which I mean, you know, it's it's an okay performance to be honest with you. We could snatch a goal. Might change this up, <clears throat> Jaying him. You know, he's kind of more for a player that, you know, as a poacher, uh, Like he's more of a yeah, that's not good for defensive forward. <laughs> um, the thing with Jai Ingham is he's or Dan Dane Ingham is he's, he's more for a player that you know if you have two strikers up top. Specifically for him, anyway, where he's he's at you know, young age and playing against this type of opposition, <clears throat> but we need him to kind of drop a bit more to to give support to the midfielders when they're coming out. But <sighs> come on, Talilo. I just want a highlight. I mean, that's what I want. If we can get a highlight. That can really help our cause. <clears throat> but I would say defensive wise. This game has been really good. So this tactic. Is doing really well. Go show some passion. Eh, yeah, there's a goal. <clears throat> Chris James, free kick. And Noel it looks like he didn't even move. And that's just a good shot right in the top corner. So, yeah, this one looks like, fuck me. So, <clears throat> what do we do? Um, We'll go to our other ones here. We'll bring on Leona Tyler, play Mike Todd. that <clears throat> yeah Jingham wants to come off here so try to bring on at least something as you can see look at that corner six to one that's not good enough passing the spice <clears throat> and now that we've put to that performance, you know, I'm going to bring on this big man. Bring on the big six foot sevener. See what he's got to offer. And you know, Jay Ingham's been been okay, but obviously he's one of our more key guy. But he's been scheduling and wants to come off, so we'll give this guy a run. And I mean that's all I can really, really uh, push here. Big man won that ball, but <clears throat> here's Keat with a strike, and that's over top. And yeah, just look at the. Uh, Yeah, only two shots to one on target. I mean, this that's not going to be good enough at any level. 
Um, you know, obviously we started out defensive wise, which was working pretty good, but it was Brocky and another good stop by Noel. It would just be great, you know, if we had an actual highlight. And that's all I would I'm asking for is an actual highlight. But it doesn't look like we're gonna get one. So it looks like we're gonna lose this game. Opener, which I guess was obvious against New Zealand. But it only concede two goals. It's been okay, I guess. Or should I say more? No. And considering a penalty save as well. So Noel's been actually doing pretty good in this. <clears throat> but from New Zealand standpoint, only 7 shots, 21 shots. That's not that great either from New Zealand. Once again, another pretty disappointing performance from Timmy. But again, playing box to box, that's not his natural position. But yeah, you guys can see what we're what I'm working with here. <laughs> it's uh, it is really just really patient wise is is what uh, the word is for this to describe this because yeah, it's been absolutely horrendous. You know, and you know, going back to what ifs, if Timmy was on this squad, from a football manager perspective, anyway, wouldn't have made much of a difference. <laughs> That's how it going. But yeah, so we lose our first game. Um, you know, I'm gonna let the assistant decide what he wants to do. And yeah, we were the underdogs. Noel played a really good game, but we lose our opener. Obviously and predictably against New Zealand. Um, pros from this game, I would say our defensive game in the first half was really good. Um, you know, free kick. I mean, what can you do? But uh, again, our, I mean, our uh, offensive type of the game. Um, From our perspective, uh, you know, the offensive type of the game is, is what is really killing me. You know, we are really having a hard time trying to get goals. And, yeah, it's just, it's just really... It's just, yeah, really testing nerves at the moment. Um, yeah, I understand probably tons of people rage on this game, myself included, if I do that. But, yeah, I'm just getting to the point in the say where, like, okay, you know, I still obviously care because, you know, it's a YouTube series and I want to, obviously want to do something with Samoa here, but, oh, man, it's just... Uh, when you don't get result after result after result, especially in friendlies, that's what's really hurting me the most. You know, because that's what these friendlies are good for. You know, you want to bring players in and and uh, you know and 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 get them better. You know, and want them to understand your tactic and all this. But oh, it's just when it starts getting lost, that's the loss. It's really starting to take a toll. <coughs> But, yeah, so, we're going to be coming up here, this gets game against New Caledonia, um, some more European players on this side, I don't believe Wesley Lautola was called up though, so that's a bonus, and considering all things else, you know, our last game against New Caledonia, 
we um you know we got a draw and we were in a winning position as well so that's what I'm that's the key part about this what I'm looking at and this is just going straight through it looks like so we're just gonna so there's no new injuries so we're gonna be Australia hit UAE pretty easily I think Australia is actually you know, obviously they should get out of Asia but yeah they're in a pretty good position to qualify for World Cup Saudi Arabia doing really well in that group but all things else pretty straightforward uh, we'll look at the Confederations Cup here too um, because obviously New Zealand won the won the Nations Cup. But that's the ocean that's the here's the groups for the Confederation Cup. <clears throat> Looks like Portugal. Yeah, bloody porties. You know, any Portuguese play people that watch this, I apologize, but I absolutely cannot stand Portugal. Mainly because of the one guy on the team. I just I, I cannot stand Ronaldo, to be honest with you. And yeah, they won one nil against France. Who got the goal? Surprise, surprise! Oh no, it wasn't him. It's was Pepe. I and to be honest with you, you know, all the praise of Ronaldo on Portugal, but he's not a really great international football wise for his country. I actually think Jean Moutinho's the uh, he he is the the heart and soul, in my opinion, of Portugal. Because if if Marie, if Moutinho wasn't going, Ronaldo wouldn't be going. Because Moutinho, if you watch in all the games, Moutinho is the guy that gives him the ball every time. So, yeah, that's my rant. But, yeah, this is, that's the groups. World Cup qualifying. Go Latvia in that. <clears throat> Hungry. So, yeah, so we're coming up against New Zealand, or New Caledonia here. Um... I actually wanted to stop recording of all this, but we might as well go through. I actually, one other thing I'll say is I actually got approached by Melbourne Victory as well to manage Melbourne Victory. Um, that was one approach that came up to me. So it's kind of nice to be feel like you're feeling wanted when you're not feel like you're doing anything with this national team. So. That's what we got, and it was quite surprising. So, yeah, how long is this going on for? Thirty. Yeah, another long episode. I apologize too. I don't really want to do long episodes. Just want to get to the point and get to the games. But here we go against New Caledonia. Our second game. Obviously, a loss here would probably be done for this World Cup qualifying part of this and it's a real shame because we're missing our really good uh, defensive mid Ed, Andy Young that's a big loss so we're gonna have to bring in Lieutenant Hamilton Palmer yeah, I guess we could bring him in Ricky Hamilton Palmer we could start the Kiwi against this game um, Bring in Leona Tyler. We could bring in Simone Totu. She will bring him in. We will actually play him in his. Uh, put him as a roaming playmaker. Push him up a bit more. And uh, do we want to start the Kiwi in this game? Andrew Stefanello. Stefanano. You know what? We'll start the Kiwi, cap them with us, with us, <clears throat> and we'll also put in Peter to uh, and I think we'll go in with that squad. So we got New Caledonia here, Go Georges Gope Finish. He's a really good player. Plays in France.
Uh, but yeah, they got some quality players. Ziola's also really good. He plays at um, Laval in France. And Gope, Felipe, Amiens. I mean, look at that. That's really quality stuff. Um, but they're oh and oh, great and yeah Loto is there. He's probably arguably the best player in. You know I'm gonna say it, he's probably the best player in Oceania in real life. To be honest with you, you know even better than the key. Well, actually no part no I won't say that. Winston Reed is, but Lotoa I would actually say he's probably second behind Winston Reed. Laurent, he's a really good center back. And yeah, our chances got really tough now with Loto in the, in the squad. So Gope Panish, he's their big man. Ziola is the other big guy. And Latoa are the big guys for New Caledonia. Um, moving to qualification spot, I'll say that this would be huge if we could get a win here. So here we go for our second World Cup qualifier against New Caledonia. <clears throat> Going in with a bit more, still a uh, counter tactic, but um, one that has some more offensive appeal to it. So if we could get a play here, it would be really good. Um, TED already up 1 0 on Solomon Islands. <clears throat> Here's TO2. We'll get ourselves a highlight. Here's Kale. Ingman. Here's Jay Ingham. Through and a good stop by Barron. So, first really good shot there by Jay Ingham. That would have been huge if we'd scored there. So, you know, 27 minutes in. And that's the other thing I'll say, guys, is I haven't scored a goal first in probably since the last time I played New Caledonia. So we've always been on the back foot every time. And that's one thing I'm really not liking either. <laughs> but right now it's going quite well. Yeah, I'm okay with these. There's a good read by Hamilton Pama, Oliver, Ziola, uh, Gope Finish, good stop by Noel, Gope Finish again, cleared out. So they had a few good opportunities there. Play flexible. Our newest cap, Ricky Hamilton, Pama, Kiwi. Who's this guy? Vadeline Oliver. He's an actual player, so I wonder where he's playing at. <clears throat> but, nil nil at half. <clears throat> we can still win this game. This game is still for the taking. Um, yeah, I just want to see where this Oliver player is. Where is he? Vadeline Oliver. He's English, but he's capped by New Caledonia. Wow. He must have descent there. New Caledonian. Hmm. Well, because in my personal save, I'm managing Neuschland and New Caledonian. I'm going to actually write this guy's name down and bring him into my squad. <laughs> Val Oliver. Hmm. We'll cap him. So, doing some scouting for my other side there. But, we were getting some good opportunities. Take discipline. <clears throat> Come on, guys. Let's get a goal here. That would have been a good ball. 
So we got a free kick here. Come on, this could be a chance. Here's John A. Hall. Try looking for Kyle. Here's Hall again. Ingham. Come on! There's a goal. And it's Dane Ingham. And it's 1-0 Samoa. And that's a good goal to get. And that's our first goal that we have scored first in probably five or six games. But that was a good free. John A. Hall's actually really good on his corners and frees. And Dane Ingham, the young Australian turned Samoan. It's a good goal to get. So we'll go to concentrate now. Remember we were in a winning position against New Caledonia last time and we actually buggered it. Brandon Pereira. That sounds like another Australian. Never mind. Pierre Charles. So Brendan Pereira is coming on. We'll just do a tackle harder. We've actually done a pretty, well, I won't judge it, but we've done a good job shutting down Ziola and Gope Panish. And Panish puts one Fanit Bay, or I always go Panish. Come on, here's Hall. Try looking for Kale. Here's Jay Ingham with a drive, and that's just went wide. And that's the thing that's also worrying me is just, you know, Timmy's just, he's not, he's not being impact, really. He's just, that's the thing that's really worrisome, really, for me. Um, you, know, you want to get the best out of Kyle, but he hasn't really been influential in many games. But Simon Teodu has actually done well. He's on a, he's on a card, so I'm going to bring on Leon Taylor. <clears throat> That's actually done well playing uh role playing. Um, you know, roaming play my put to be honest. Uh sorry. Jayingham's getting a talking to. He's getting a card. So that's rough. If we get a second goal here. <clears throat> That's a good ball. Come on, Ingham. Here's Dane Ingham. And he put it over top. <laughs> Missed header. You'll see that a lot in this level. That's the one thing that also really frustrates me with FM is how many times in real life do you actually see that? Regardless of the quality of, of who you're playing against. You know? You hardly ever see that. Uh, here's Gope Panish. Good block. Oliver and he put a wide. And go concentrate. <clears throat> uh, we'll make a second sub. Dining him has done well, but I'm going to bring on the big man. I was actually quite impressed when he came against, against New Zealand. Six foot seven guy. See what he does here against uh, a team like New Caledonia. <clears throat> Here's Jay Ingham. Here's Taylor. Mm, big man lost that. <clears throat> Go by Panish. Well, here's Go by Panish, and he put a wide. Now win it, boys. He's actually done well, the Kiwi. He won that one. Here's a chance. Come on, John A. Hall. Cross it in, John A. Hall. No one was there. The big man wasn't there. <clears throat> oh, and that was a oh. Here's a chance for New Caledonia, and it's put well wide. So we got the final ten minutes here. Um, Jayingham's. Yeah, actually going to bring on Brendan Fallafoy, Fallafoy for Jayingham. 
So this is going to be the final sub. Let's try and steer this game through. Go on, structured. Um. I'm going to just go shoot on side as well to do that. And stay on feet. So this should be huge if we get a 1-0 win here. So we're in the final three minutes. Good read from Kyle. No, go pay finish. Oh, ha, ha. And they score with two minutes to go. What do you know? Ah, uh, so we were close. Oh, what is, who's this? That's terrible defending there. He's got to clear that. And they just walk in and they come in and they score a goal. They win it. Oh, my God. So, again, close, but not close enough. I'm just going to hoof balls in the box for the big guy. That is frustrating because, again, we're in a winning position. Now here's Gope Finish and he puts one wide. But we are in a winning position. And then they come down and they get a go like that. So this looks like it's going to end in a one old draw again. And our winless streak continues. <clears throat> Very frustrating. Are they going to get a goal? No. Oh, and that's see, like look at that. <laughs> look at that, guys. That's the sort of stuff I'm having to deal with here. But that's full time. So we get a draw, but oh man. Winning position. And we give up the goal with two minutes to go. But. Again, Timmy has, again, he was non factored at all in the game, was Tip Kyle. That is the worry. So, ah, that is frustrating. That is really frustrating. But, yeah, two games remain. And,. Basically, for us, we got to run the table. The most we could get is seven points. New Zealand. Yeah, we're pretty much done, but we'll see. Anyway. And I'm going to say I don't think so. We deserve more than that. Obviously, this manager is going to disagree. I <laughs> don't know what he's moaning about. Yeah. So, so guys, that's the episode. Uh, we got a friendly against Myanmar and then just one game against New Zealand. So, we'll just play the New Zealand game. Um, I'll play the own game against Myanmar in my own time. But again, our winless run has continued. We haven't won a game now in, in three, four, five, or the, in five, six, seven games. We have not won a game in seven games. So I think what I'm going to do instead of playing Myanmar, I'm going to play a game that I really should win. I really should be winning. Um, so. Tonga, Arrogant Samoa, <clears throat> I don't think I've faced Macau yet, have I? 
see what we got here. Not in Facebook, yeah. So, do home game. And we'll face Macau in this friendly at home. That's a game, you know, it's it's a good opposition, but a game we should be winning at home. And we've accepted. So so that's what we're gonna do. Gonna come back. Obviously that's in a couple months' time too, that match and against New Zealand. Um and against New Caledonia. So, yeah. So, guys, that's it for the episode. We get a win or we get a draw and a loss. That's been the name of the game of this series. Um, That's, yeah, that's been the name of this series at the moment. And, um, you know, I, par I apologize if, you know, if my voice and stuff doesn't feel like I'm really into this. Because it's just so deflating when you're going... Loss after loss after loss or a draw, and you're not getting your win. And I, uh, I mean, I could probably guarantee anyone that once you start getting on a run like this in Footy Manager, you just lose patience and you just lose days of like, okay, why am I playing this? <laughs> you know. <laughs> but this is a YouTube series that I want to do, so um, I expected. Uh, it to be tough, but I didn't expect it like this, to be honest with you. I thought it, we were going to get some wins, especially against these sides like Pakistan and Malaysia, especially at home, and Swaziland. I mean, it's horrendous. So I'm really starting to learn that Samoa is absolutely crap. And I apologize to any Samoans who actually watch this, but yeah, it's absolutely horrendous, considering it started out well. So, yeah, very disappointing. We lose to New Zealand. I guess you could say it was good. We only got two goals against. But our dents of qualifying for Russia are really, well, are really on the, f are in limbo, basically. But, yeah. So, we'll come back for the next game against New Zealand. And, uh, hopefully there's something good news in that Macau friendly. So, hope you guys are enjoying this, guys. It's, uh, it's full of losses, but it's really, you now it's really costing patience, but, um, I'm gonna go through with it, because, you know, it's not gonna be a long save, so that's when I'm really, you know, it's not, it's not a long save, you know, uh, you know, basically when Timmy's done, that's when it's gonna be over, so, um, hopefully, one thing I'm really hoping for is we get a lot of these guys, like Australians or Kiwis, come over to us, or else just the regions. Um, we actually did pick up a few more decent regions in the uh, in the pool. Uh, you know, basically how I always do it is, you know, once the region day hits, I just add all, everyone to uh, to add the national pool. So this guy, Andrew. Tyrell are going to be good. This guy I'm really more excited about. I'm actually going to probably cap him in the next game. Lewis Nagalfly. I think that's probably our strongest. Um, well, and he's going to be good too. He's actually going to be really good. But he's injured. But, uh, you know, looking at our squad, I think that's probably our strongest position is defensive mid. You know, when we got Andy Andy um, Young and uh, one of the Hua brothers. So, yeah, I would say that's probably our, our strongest position is that defensive mid. But anyhow, I'm, I'm blabbering on it. So, hope you guys are enjoying it. Hopefully, we can turn this around. Um, it looks like this World Cup campaign... This one, anyway, is going to be a, a failure, but um, you never know. We might miraculously turn something around. But anyhow, i got to go. I'm blabbering yet. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys for the next episode. Cheers.